Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last session we started our journey through the Exalted Plains. We have found a bunch of shards, completed a few objectives here and there, and we have just found keys to allow us in here. So, the spoils of desecration. What is in here? Big room. Very big room. Mushrooms. Oh god, I forgot that our bags are full. Oh no. Well, we will have to head back soon, I guess. As soon as we find a new camp, I suppose. Although, saying that, I don't think there was a camp anywhere near, was there? No. They're both up top. Well, poo. That means we'll have to just dip out, I guess. And then travel back here. Sad times. Very sad times. Man, you can't even take that stuff. I thought that went into a separate menu that didn't count. Oh no, it's crafting materials that go into a separate menu that don't count, isn't it? Nothing really here. Oh good, mosaic. Man, considering they locked this place up tight, there really isn't fucking anything in here, is there? Very strange. This was locked so tight, with three separate keys needing to be found and everything, that I assumed it would actually have anything interesting inside it. But, uh, nope. <laughs> that is one boring fucking cave. Depressing. Oh well. Right, I guess it's back to Skyhold then. Woohoo! We get to start off an episode with some very exciting inventory management. Hell yes. Hell yes. I'm still not over the fact that this fucking Black Emporium thing spoiled me on Corypheus. <laughs> like, that's still so fucking dumb. That is still so insanely dumb that they give you a thing at the start of the game that tells you who the villain is when it's kind of a twist villain. Like, if it, it like if it just told you the name and you'd never heard it before, it wouldn't matter. But the fact that it's Corypheus is that it's like it's a twist, and they put that in the game and let you immediately read it, and then in eight years they haven't bug fixed it? Like, surely it's not hard to just remove a line of text from a description. Just remove the line that says... Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm not over it. I'm never going to be over it. It's so dumb. <laughs> uh, right. What was that? A unique mace. Is mace two-handed? I don't remember. Cassandra, do you want a unique mace? No, it's not as good as what you've got. Uh, any bows... Do, do. Nothing's better than that, that's for sure. 134, uh, 16, is that better? We'd be losing some magic and melee in exchange for ranged, strength, and grant two seconds of blessed blades. I don't know what that is, but it sounds better, so there you go, mate. Um, anything else? No. Rare maul, that's two handed. Solus, did we get anything better for you? Nope. Bull, nothing's over that. Okay. 
armor. Nothing's better for me, Cassandra. Sarah. Dorian. Black wool. Now, there is a better one for him, but uh, we decided to take it off because the old one looked bad and this one looks snazzy. So, yeah, we will do that. And I'm sure the accessories are fine. All right. What was the thing I was keeping? Wasn't there something I was keeping... Was it armor? Maybe it was armor. Yes, it was that. I'm level 17. None of my warriors are yet. You know what? Am I ever going to use these fucking amulets? Probably not. Probably not. Am I ever going to use this? On a mage? No. Fire resistance, maybe. Heal bonus. I can't see me ever using that. Fire at 30% fire resistance. It might be good against the dragon one day. It's possible. My god, you could accidentally sell all of your crafting mats that you've spent the entire game picking up. There's the sell all button still applies on that. Fuck me. Down to eight. Eight is pretty good. Okay. Okay. Back to the plains, and I guess we have to go all the way back to the start. Woohoo! All the way back to the start. All the way. Back to the start, we're going all the way. Back to the start, we're going all the way. Back to the start, we're going all the way. Back to the start, we're going all the way. Back to the start. <laughs> Come on, fucking loading screens. Why'd you take so long? Insanity. Roughly which direction are we heading? What was that? Ah, right, we can go that later. We are roughly heading over there. Please, please don't knock me off my mount. Please. Please allow me to pass unmolested. Fucking people. No, thank you. Oh, hey, we will. What the fuck? Hey, take a second. What? What? Why? I missed. That's good. Almost got tier three focus for the first time in history. And it only took about 10 hours of gameplay to achieve it. 10 hours of nothing but fighting. You get one use of a tier 3 ability that lasts 5 seconds. Oh, look. 
We found the Dalish. Yes, we did. Mathalan asked Valorant, where are you? I hear a shiny. Oh, it's over there. Hello. Please, if you see my brother out there, tell him to return to camp. Who's Valorin? My brother. He's been sullen for a while because the Keeper chose another as his apprentice. He thinks it's a slight, but it isn't. He just wasn't ready. Keeper Howen wants him to wait. Then he took off three nights ago on his own. I don't know what he was thinking. The Keeper sent hunters to search, but they never found a trace. Mathal's mercy. If anything's happened... Bad news. I'm sorry, but I found your brother. What? What do you mean, sorry? Where is he? No, he's not. I have his belongings. Is this... is this all that's left? Did you learn nothing else? He was brave, trying to reclaim a relic... Dalish favour? What does that mean? You know, I always knew he was brave and clever. Didn't have to prove himself. The clan loves him. Howen loves him. I wish he'd understood that. Thank you for bringing me I got me Dalish favour plus two. I found this talisman. I think your brother was looking for it. You should have it. Linda Rani's talisman. It, it exists. Her sword, Eva Nura, was taken by Shems. But in the story, her talisman was saved and hidden. This will mean so much to our people. Thank you. Dalish favour plus three. What does Dalish favour get me? Elganan the Allfather. Long ago, when time itself was young, the only things in existence were the sun and the land. The sun, curious about the land, bowed his head close to her body, and Elganan was born in the place where they touched. The sun and the land... What keeps... Hello? Is that just completing multiple times, or did I actually just complete, like, three quests? By the grace of the Dalish. Dalish favour. Huh. Uh, the sun and the land loved Elganan greatly, for he was beautiful and clever. As a gift to Elganan, this land brought forth great birds and beasts of sky and forest and all manner of wonderful green things. Elganan loved his mother's gifts and praised them highly and walked amongst them often. The sun, looking down upon the fruitful land, saw the joy that Elganan took in her works and grew jealous. Out of spite, he shone his face full upon all the creatures the earth had created and burned them all to ashes. The land cracked and split from bitterness and pain and cried salt tears for the loss of all she had wrought. The pool of tears cried for the land became the ocean and the cracks in her body the first rivers and streams. Elganan was furious at what his father had done and vowed vengeance. He lifted himself into the sky and wrestled the sun, determined to defeat him. They fought for an eternity, and eventually the sun grew weak, while El Elganan's rage was unabated. Eventually, Elganan threw the sun down from the sky and buried him in a deep abyss created by the land's sorrow. With the sun gone, the world was covered in shadow, and all that remained in the sky were the reminders of Elganan's battle with his father, drops of the sun's lifeblood which twinkled and shimmered in the darkness. Mithal, the great protector. Elganan had defeated his father, the sun, and all was covered in darkness. Pleased with himself, Elganan sought to console his mother, the earth, by replacing all that the sun had destroyed. But the earth knew that without the sun, nothing could grow. She whispered to Elganan this truth, and pleaded with him to release his father. But Elganan's pride was great, and his vengeance was terrible, and he refused. It was at this moment that Mithal walked out of the sea of the earth's tears, and onto the land. She placed her hand on Elganan's brow, and at her touch he grew calm and knew that his anger had led him astray. Humbled, Elganan went to the place where the sun was buried and spoke to him. Elganan said he would release the sun if the sun promised to be gentle and to return to the earth each night. The sun, feeling remorse at what he had done, agreed. And so the sun rose again in the sky and shone his golden light upon the earth. Elganan and Mithal, with the help of all the earth and with the help of the earth and sun, brought back life to all brought back to life all the wondrous things the sun had destroyed, and they grew and th thrived. And that night, when the sun had gone to sleep, Mithal gathered the glowing earth around his bed and formed it into a sphere to be placed in the sky, a pale ref reflection of the sun's true glory. Nice. Anything? Is this anything? No. This is just a little cave. Okay. And Arana Tishan. You were the craftsman here? Yes, Dallin. I embark leather and such, as I'm sure you know. I'm afraid I cannot trade with you. You are one of the people, but we do not know or trust your inquisition. In time, perhaps. Alright. It is always a pleasure to greet one of our own. 
Do you have anything to trade? The Keeper has forbidden trade with strangers we cannot trust. Please understand. You were the one they called the Herald of Andraste. For all the world's a venerated Dalish elf. That's never happened before, has it? All the clans are talking about you. Or so Keeper Howen says. People talk about me? Uh, talk. What do they say exactly? Good things, I think. A few hope this is a sign of change for our people. Real change. If it's true, I want to be a part of it. Sounds like a volunteer. It won't happen. Keeper Howen won't allow it. <sighs> he doesn't trust anything to do with the Chantry or Andraste. I could convince him. I could try to convince your Keeper. You could try. I'll take my leave. Elkanan, the stores are so low. You seem troubled. It's, it's nothing. Just our stores. With the Shem War and the demons, replenishing them has been difficult. For one, we're almost out of herbs, and we lack materials to repair the Aravils. I don't even remember. There's so much we're missing. It's all written in my ledger. June, god of the craft. We dedicate all our crafts to June, for it is he who taught the people to bend the branches of trees to make our bows, and to fashion coverings of furs and iron bark. Without June, would we have the Aravel, or the harness for our Hala? When the people were young, we wandered the forests without purpose. We drank from streams and ate the berries and nuts that we could find. We did not hunt, for we had no bows. We wore nothing, for we had no knowledge of spinning or needlecraft. We shivered in cold nights, and went hungry through the winters, when all the world was covered in ice and snow. Then Silas the Hearthkeeper came, and gave us fire, and taught us how to feed it with wood. June taught us to fashion bows and arrows and knives, so that we could hunt. We learned to cook the flesh of the creatures we hunted over Silas' fire, and we learned to clothe ourselves in their furs and skins, and the people were no longer cold and hungry. Spindleweed's getting scarce. Can I do anything about that? You've brought supplies. If you could store them in that chest, I would be grateful. Uh, sure. What chest? This chest? Dalish favor plus one. You're welcome. Greetings to you. You need more? Running out of elf fruit. Oh, good. Well, I have elf fruit to spare, I guess. Sure. Someone took canine leather without my permission. Do I have any canine leather? I guess so. Nothing popped up, but I assume I did. Oh, there it is. Daily Slave plus one. And that's Ara Herald. Super slow. Uh, we need more iron. The rest Shara. Man, does this ever stop? Greetings to you. I wish we had some great bear fur. Nights are getting cold. Do I have great bear fur? I guess not. Because I don't have any way of opening of putting stuff in there. Hmm. And around at Hishan, my sister. It is good to see another of the people in this place from which we all came. Still beautiful, isn't it? Even with scars left by the Shemlin War and all the troubles that followed. The dearth? Why do elves call this plain the dearth? Have you not heard the story, Delen? When the people settled here, we called it Dearth of Erin. The promise. For the Dales were promised to us by Andraste. It is still the dearth to us. Even if the Shemlin give it a name that recalls our destruction. What troubles you, Harn? Where do I start, Delen? The armies cause rock slides. They dig ditches that trip the Halla and destroy the Aravils. Making passage impossible. Precisely when the clan needs him most. My first, Tavern, defies my wishes and mounts an excursion to the Emerald Graves. Oh, yeah? And now, I've learned that the grounds of Far Balanaris are infested by angry spirits from the beyond. I've defeated those demons. I've already cleared your sacred burial site of demons. Yes, but our hunters watched you from afar, and they know you defiled our grave. Ah. And that you stole a relic, and with it broke open the vault at Unadin from one of the people. Disappointed. The demons are gone, and we should be thankful. A small token of our gratitude, then. I met one of your hunters. I met one of your hunters. He's continuing to look for a safe route. That is good to hear. 
Thank you for delivering the work. That man wishes to join us. One of your clan wishes to join the Inquisition. Talanas. Did he say that? Master Anas. But I cannot allow it. You may be Dalish, but your Inquisition is human. I will not let Lauren leave with you. Not when I'm uncertain of your intentions. Gareth and Shirau, are there. Okay. So we lost a few bits of favor there, but I assume we can... I mean, we must be able to max it out Netherrass, relatively sister. easily, surely. May I ask, traveling these plains, have you come across a golden hallow? I fear human soldiers may kill her. If she would only draw close, I could gain her trust. I could protect her. A golden hallow? Hanel Gillan. I've heard stories of such a creature. Yes. Some of us believe she comes to the people in times of great need. Why would soldiers kill her? Why do you think soldiers hunt your Hala? Pelts and horns sell for gold in Shem markets, I hear. And if they were golden? Dereth Shira. Alright. Well, we will try and find those. Golden Halla is down there. Alrighty. All righty. Find and deliver three great bear pelts. Yeah, I don't know about that. Whoa, hello. Our Dalish favor's gone up massively. What? I was nowhere near that high before. Why does it keep showing up with these fucking same things? Go away. Hello. Do I have to be quiet? Oh, heard the howler. Oh, right, okay. Why does this... Is this bugged? It keeps flashing up. Okay, here we go. Heard it. Keep heard and heard and heard and yeah, keep heard and heard and heard and come on. Oh great, I'm really glad we just got that quest completed. Yeah. And now we're back to this. Fantastic. Are they to the left here? I've kind of lost them. Yeah, there they are. I need you to turn around, mate. No, not that way. No, 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 no. This way. Hey, bud. Are we good? He stopped running as fast. Look. Already she makes herself known to the others. She knows she's meant to be here. Thank you, Lethala. I will never be able to express my gratitude. Alright, cool. Uh, that is almost enough Dalish favor. Uh, there's a glyph, there's a fade thing. That's Solus's thing. Glyph, glyph, farmer. What was the other thing they wanted me to do? Wasn't there something else someone asked me to do? I can't remember. Uh, journal. Exalted Plains. I mean, not the bear pelt, surely? Is there a bear area on the map? No. What about the world map? Also, no.
So how do I get more favor apart from the bear pelts? Do I have to do the bear pelts? Sounds like a pain in the ass. Thank you for finding Valorin. I hope he passes peacefully into the beyond. Hmm. It's not... At this rate, we'll never be on our way. Doesn't seem like this one's gonna happen. I'm not gonna go fucking hunt all across the world for bear pelts. That is something that is definitely not happening, so... Rip, I guess. Where is this going to be? I feel like it's going to be in this room somewhere. Would they make us take this a long way? Maybe they would. Yes, so. Where? Where, oh where? Jumpy. Level 10. Clap. Right, where's this motherfucking rune at then? get the fire again and start looking I guess somewhere in here the elven glyphs we're searching the ruins we heard august boys are digging in the stones at Halin something I hate these elf names okay we checked all these joints and we did a once over here right so it has to be down here not here rather Thing on these walls. Did 
be on the outside? Possibly, I guess. Hmm. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Ah, there it is. <laughs> the revealed symbols depict a pair of hands cupped around yo mum. That's Solus's thing. We'll leave that uh, until last, I guess, because that's going to be a big companion side quest, so I'd rather not have that just lumped in with all this other shit. Is that a logging stand I spy? Thank you for this, Inquisitor. We are not far from where my friend was summoned. Yeah, we're not actually doing that right now, I'm afraid. That is a, that's a quarry, right. Sure. Need fucking two more of those and one more logging. Is that... Yes, that's where that is, okay. Bad time for these guys. One of the mages. Killed by arrows, it would seem. Look at how the arrow's positioned. He was shot while running. I'd guess bandits. These aren't mages. The bodies are burned, and these claw marks. No. No, no, no. That's a demon's work. Uh-oh. Has your friend become a demon? You what? One of the mages. Killed by arrows, it would seem. Look at how the arrow's positioned. He was shot while running. I'd guess bandits. Yeah, you already said that. A letter. My sweet Dorabelle. Things have gotten worse since I last wrote. There is no end to the madness. Strange lights on the plains, soldiers torn limb from limb. Some of the men think there is an elven curse on the land. But I'm gone and will put... But I am gone and will put all this from my mind. If Selene wants to keep her throne, she can take up arms against her cousin, the demons, and whatever else. I'd like to return home, darling, but I must disappoint you. I may lo no longer fight for the Empress, but I still fight for Orlais. There is a rebel group gathering in the Emerald Graves Forest. People like me, tired, wanting a change. I met some of them. It feels right. There is something big planned, to take the Dales, to wipe out the old politics. I'm hopeful. I know you would be too. Wait for me, Benji. That's where we'll be going next, I think, right? Although it's another forest? Uh, the revealed symbols show two ravens. One grips a heart in its talons, the other... That looks around. like all of them. I'll see what the researchers of Skyhold make of this. Don't get me wrong, I like forests. But... Feels like we've had a few of them. Hell yeah, dude. Big purple area. My fucking favorite.
wearer of this amulet generates less threat when attacking. Oh, that was it. I did not expect that to be it. Weird. What's up, fuckers? Rude. Delete us. <laughs> that got us a support from Navara option operation rather. Revenant Heart. Right, uh, okay, so shards over there. We've pretty much covered all this. Let's connect the map by just going over here a bit because there is a little black line between two bits of the map, which is very irritating. <laughs> is that enough? Yes, okay, good. And then I guess we start heading up this way, perhaps? Uh, like that. See you up there. How do I get to you? Somehow, some way, there is a path up there.
Oh, the fucking quest is in the room underneath me, you fuckers. It's a lot of respawning enemies here. Hello there. Man, I am loving how much faster my mana is regenning these days. Really loving it because I have, it's what like it's plus fifty percent mana regen or something. Uh, from this one, uh, no, from this one, no, from this one, no. Where the fuck am I getting my fifty percent mana regen from? <laughs> I thought it was one of those. Was it not? Yeah, it was. The, it was this. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, you get 50% mana regen from being near hostile enemies, which obviously I am all the time. And then I also have from this, I still have my 35% faster mana regen when I have an active barrier. And oh joy of joys, I now have an active barrier all the time because I get 30% of my damage dealt back as a barrier. So it's like, I just have... Why is it always so cold? How do you southerners stand it? What's the matter? Not enough slaves around to rub your footsies? My footsies are freezing, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, just so much faster. Makes a massive difference. Uh, where exactly is the horn? Honk, honk. Does that need to be so loud though, game? <laughs> you, you sure that needs to be so loud? Is this another dude underground somewhere? Is there a door to get underground somehow? Aha. Uh, right. I know where this is, don't I? Pretty sure that's where we got the final glyph from, right? 
Legend of the Three Sisters, Book 1. The legend of Les Trois Soeurs is often repeated in Olay and has an incredible number of variations. In some, the sisters are depicted as innocent on the surface, but eagerly engaging in bawdy exploits the moment they escape from their chaperone. In others, the sisters are heroic, valiantly solving any number of problems, sometimes unintentionally, before returning home. In still others, the sisters are clueless, bumbling from one adventure to the next, unwittingly leaving riots and chaos in their wake. The nature depends on waiting to die. who is telling the story or where they heard it last. Sometimes it's a raunchy tale for tavern drunks, other times it's a scandalous tale told to criticise either the Empress or the, or the Chantry. There are some elements in common between all these stories, however. They always revolve around the adventures of three sisters of the Montbelliard clan, Brielle, Marie and Charisse. They are depicted as young women, typical of Orlesian nobility, versed in social graces but innocent of the world outside of their shelter's existence. One day, while travelling with their chaperone, always referred to as Le Bete, and usually depicted as a large and vindictive woman, they become separated and lost on the streets of Val Royale. Bewildered at finding themselves alone, the three sisters panic and end up in the infamous Belle March, an area of the capital renowned for its garish and celebratory seediness. In all versions of the legend, this is where the sisters' adventures truly begin. How exciting for them. The Soul Canto. A traveller asked the Ashkari, what was your vision of our purpose? The great Ashkari replied, I'll tell you a story. A vast granite statue stands on an island, holding back the sea. The heavens crown its brow, it sees to the edge of the world. The sea drowns its feet with every tide, the heavens turn overhead, light and dark. The tide rises to devour the earth and falls back. The sun and stars fall to the sea one by one in their turn, only to rise again. The tide rises, the tide falls, but the sea is changeless. Struggle is an illusion, there is nothing to struggle against. The deception flows deeper, the statue resists the ebb and flow of the sea and is whittled away by each wave. It protests the setting sun and its face is burned looking upon it. It does not know itself. Stubbornly it resists wisdom and is transformed. If you love purpose, fall into the tide, let it carry you. Do not fear the dark, the sun and the stars will return to guide you. You have seen the greatest kings build monuments to their glory, only to have them crumble and fade. How much greater is the world than their glory? The purpose of the world renews itself with each season. Each change only marks a part of the greater whole. The sea and sky themselves, nothing special, only pieces. I don't suppose there was anything else I missed I down here. Waiting to die. Nah. Beep, 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 beep. Anything in this house? <laughs> the desolate bank. Challenge. Hey Dom, I know it's you poking in my stuff. I saw you following me to my stash. I could smell you from a hundred yards. Don't think you'll be getting what you got what you lost at Wicked Grace. It's not gonna happen. Let's be serious. You can try to get to it, but we both know you won't, lard ass. Right. Uh how do I get up there? Oh, that is the stuff, right? Can I walk along? Is this what he means? I don't think I can get up here, right? Oh, I can. Oh, shit. Haha! -ha. Get fucked, boy! Right, um. Something down there. Oh wait, is that the thing at the bottom of the thingy that I couldn't get to? Uh, I mean, 
This seems kind of far away. Nah, it probably is. It probably is. But the, the, the window. Let's see if it's... It should be over this way, right? Yeah, it's a big area. Um... There. So I guess it was marking up here. Good thing I remembered that, huh? 162 axe. Seems alright. Uh, but no one here will use it, will they? No. Um, right. So. We need a rogue for that. Let's continue on up here then. In search of a new camp. Should we go around? It'd probably be easier if we go around this, right? To make a new cam, and then I guess we'll come back with Varric and hit up my quest. Go away, wolves! Hang on, there's something to find here. Good, it's another bottle. Hooray. Crumpled missive. Did you hear? One of the recruits from Val Royale said they saw the famous Tom Rayner drinking at the Halberd, east of Val Royale. I thought you'd be interested, given your history. Although the lads probably only seen him in sketches, somehow I doubt the old captain's foolish enough to come with a within a hundred miles of the capital. I'll let you decide whether you believe it. Anyway, I heard you might be relieved in a week or two. You could talk to... Pr 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 see if he'll let you take leave to follow the lead. He'll understand. He did allow you to enlist for our side even after what happened with Kalia. Frosted. Body pit note. I want you and your men to collect the dead and bring them to the ramparts. We have to burn them. Gather them together then leave. I'll deal with it from there.
anything to see up here? Apart from a fire? No. <laughs> Simple answer. No. Reminds me of when Mother would take me boating in the summer. Well, she had the servants take me on the boat while she sat inside with a cool drink. Nolan, I've hidden the boat under Ferb's old fishing pier. It should have everything you need. Meet me down the river, but watch out for the currents. I'll wait for you. Ah, uh, there's nothing hidden under here. I guess they mean a different pier. Is that a massive shit? I think that's a massive shit. I don't. Right, is there a quick way to travel back to this joint? Uh, no, there is not. You hate to see it. 